All righty then, welcome back. And today, well, we're on SnowRunner. And yes, that is a vast collection of trucks because we have about 14 kilotons of logs to deliver. So, the mission is timber for the locals. So it's one of the ones that came about when they did the, the logging add-on. And I'm possibly doing them in the wrong order because I'm clearing all the missions from one map at a time, which is probably a bad idea because I don't have the right trucks for the job. However, we'll make do with what we've got. So three loads of long logs to the lumber mill, three loads of medium logs to the farm, three loads of medium logs to town storage. And mistakes were probably made on this one. So we're gonna start in the International HX 520. And just, we've also got a Caterpillar CT681 there with a fuel tanker on the back and a maintenance trailer as well. Um, just so we can have things fully topped up so I'm not mucking about, stopping to buy fuel, etc, etc. So the International HX 520, not a bad truck but nowhere near heavy enough to be carting around massive stacks of logs on its back. It just wants to rock and roll and tip over and do all sorts of naughty things. Not only that, because you've got the trailer on the back as well, it's pulling it about, so when you put the steering lock on, it doesn't want to do nearly, it doesn't want to turn, it doesn't want to do X, it doesn't want to do Y or Z, and it's just a, it's just a little bit grumpy with the amount of weight that we've got on the back of it. But it's not a bad truck, I'm just kinda, yeah, not, um, it's not a logging wagon. Um, as I've been finding out, founding, finding out, while well, I've been doing the game on hard, and I'm trying my hardest to catch up to where I've got on these. I've got a few videos left to do on this, so I'm hoping in the next week or so, I kinda catch up to where I am and then we can carry on. And we can do, uh, we can do them all on hard which is much more of a challenge um, and I feel constantly stressed out about fuel and money but anyway we finally got the international up the hill onto the road and we're gonna go <laughs> we're gonna go this way now I thought it was probably a bad idea and I guess if I start at the bottom things can only get better I thought we'd probably get halfway across to maybe that big lump in the middle and then it would struggle. But as soon as it hit the mud, it stopped. It just, well, it didn't stop, but it's just about stopped. Yeah, no dice, Mr. International, no dice at all. It was, well, it wasn't fun, put it that way. It took ages, ages to drag this thing through, getting pushed sideways by the water, sinking into the mud, winching it about it just I was like well I won't be going that way next time I'll go the long way around because one it will be quicker and two it will be a hell of a lot less stressful but we finally we finally got it out and it it handles normal mud and when I say normal I don't mean stuff that it sinks into up to the doors it handles it all right and the rest of the journey no issues we got all the way to the centre of town with no damage, no nothing, and well, there's some damage later on, so we'll keep an eye out for that. And it was alright. On a sealed surface, the truck drove fine, the logs were just, well, they were just a bit too heavy for it. So, lesson learned, don't use the International with medium logs on the back. Now there is a trailer, and it is an add-on, a mod, trailer and I'll point it out when I use it uh, but it doesn't work with certain trucks depending on where the high and low saddle is and speaking of the trailer there she is it's a mod I can't remember what it is off the top of my head I'll put it in the in the description what the mod is and it's got like a, a gooseneck a swan neck on it but the frame hangs quite low so if you've got a, a truck with a lot of frame hanging out past the low saddle it'll interfere with the trailer and it won't work so the second load, long logs, obviously, and we're in the Western Star 49X. Now, I, I quite like this truck. It's not super heavy duty. You put, a, you put a set of medium logs on the back and it wants to spare like the International did before. But 
for towing trailers with the three wheels on the back it's all right the only thing the trailer does <coughs> excuse me is if it's so far back on the frame like that one it does make the truck want to wheelie a little bit so you do have to be careful there's a few issues steering and, and so on and so forth but apart from a little bit of suspension damage because i was driving way too fast down the hill over the rocks we got to the lumber mill absolutely fine no problems whatsoever so number three and this is the international paystar 5070 now again that's a lot of logs stuck out the back of this truck now it's got quite a short wheelbase it's quite high up in the air and there's a lot of logs on the back of that so i was worried very worried that this thing was basically just going to tip over as soon as i tried to do anything with it but i was pleasantly surprised it was actually apart from not wanting to go up that slope because it just couldn't get any traction because it's got no power it was actually all right it was a pretty stable truck it felt more stable than the HX 520 um, the shorter wheelbase was a bit of a pain in the arse for certain things but yeah probably not the best logging truck again with medium logs on the back but but it did all right so the only dodgy bit was probably going to be down the little path to the farm because it's quite steep there's a lot of camber on it and obviously there's a lot of way up a weight up high with the log so I wouldn't say I was nervous but there was a certain amount of trepidation in me taking this truck with a lot of wood who were um, down the hill to said farm now the low gear boxes and these have all got the specialized off-road thing with the high and low low or low minus and low plus however you want to slice and dice it so there is a reasonable amount of control and in all fairness to the international paystar 5070 it was a lot better than i thought it was going to be i thought i was going to have a bit of problems down there with it wanting to tip over and so on and so forth but it plods through the mud it just gets on with it and there's a bit of well there's a certain amount of kind of old school kitschy cool with it isn't it square front and all that and everything but yeah i quite i must admit i quite like that truck so we dumped the two loads of mediums at the farm um and we parked that up and then we came to this the tatra t813 so very similar to the krs58 bandit less tippy over a lot less smoky as well um so eight wheel drive diff locks and all the usual jazz stuck a saddle low and this is another um, trailer mod which is the wide kind of heavy trailer that um, certain like all rig platforms and bits and bobs and coil tubing and things come on um, and it's good because it's wide and it's long and, and the long logs fit on it dead easy the problem is that the logs there's obviously a meshing issue between the logs and the trailer so every so often the logs become shall we say unattached from the trailer and start swinging around uh, the front attachment so you end up with long logs stuck out the side of the trailer at 90 degrees um, it's not been a massive issue on this so far when I've redone all these on hard mode it was an absolute nightmare so I've kind of avoided it um, you're probably better off with a the swan neck goose neck big 10 one that we just used on the 49x but the tatra it's not the fastest thing in the world it'll get up and down pretty much anything um it's not running um all the flat out engine and everything yet i haven't unlocked it i need to get to russia before i can unlock all them things but apart from a bit of a lack of power it's got a massive tank on it 380 liters um, and like i say eight wheel drive diff locks at the yin yang and um, yeah i do need to stick a better gear box on it but yeah it's quite good um it even handled the huge weight of that trailer and logs hanging out the back without too many issues and it's also got the stores on the roof so yeah very eastern block in its design very rugged very 
square, it's not winning any aerodynamic competitions anytime soon, and we're getting quite a collection there, aren't we? So we've got one at the farm, one in the town centre, and now we've got two at the lumberyard. Right. Next one then. Next to last, penultimate, the White Western Star 4964. An oldie, but a goodie, and this is probably the only truck that took medium logs that didn't feel like it was going to tip over every two seconds whenever we're going around a corner of bumps it is a slightly wider framed truck it's got a bit of a wider and longer wheelbase and it just gets on with it it just plods about not the fastest thing in the world is this in the gmc 9500 you get them pretty early on this is from smithville dam down the bottom um and yeah it just it's a good solid truck um i appreciate that i haven't gone into other realms and and gone into Maine and Russia and places like that and unlocked all the other trucks but from what I've used so far if I need something that I'm going to take somewhere dodgy and it's got a bit of weight on I'll probably use this um, with its four wheel drive and diff locks and everything else it's pretty solid and with a huge intake on the front it'll wade through some seriously deep water um, before you start having problems damaging engines and ingesting things that you don't want to ingest and it's just I don't know I just like that older style truck as much as the 49X is cool with all its extra lights and everything else for me keep it simple square front few lights get in there and just plod about drag through the mud and do whatever else you want to do I must admit although I don't like that paint job it needs to have the uh, it needs to have the special the DLC paint job back on it with the dice exploding out the back but yeah again big fuel tank 300 litres and it's not too bad on fuel depends where you are plodding through mud it's not it's not the greatest but stick a decent winch on it and you've got a pretty you've got a pretty solid truck that'll go pretty much anyway but yeah this one had a tough er uh, job because once it had stopped at the farm and dropped one set of logs off now it annoyed me that the game defaults and it takes the load off the back of the truck first rather than the trailer so I did a bit of mucking about and basically you've got to unpack detach the trailer unpack the cargo on the back of the truck and reattach the trailer without packing the cargo again on the back of the truck and then it'll unload the trailer first because obviously I would have unloaded the trailer first and then just deleted it but I didn't, I had to drag it all the way back up to the town centre. So the farm's done, and now the town centre's done, and we park that behind the international. So we've got a little collection, and all these have got to be driven back as well. Although actually, it's on just normal mode in it, so I'll just recover them all to uh, recover them all to the garage and do what I need to do. And last, the uh, well. I guess it's the Navi Star 5000, but what an absolute smoke machine this is. Watch this on startup. Ho oh, ho! Get that right up your Greta. What a filthy, filthy bit of kit that is. It just produces shit out of the exhausts constantly. Um, and again, this one has got the the swan neck long long sorry can't even talk now long log trailer on the back and because it's a shorter frame obviously it's not as long the weight's not as low so it is a little bit look at the smoke what an absolute aberration to the environment that thing is holy moly um again another truck big tank um all-wheel drive doesn't have diff locks which i find a bit strange but each to run. Apparently it's used to pull tanks. When you read the description, um, someone somewhere decided they're going to pull tanks with it, but air filters up high, it's pretty capable, pretty quick. It will just plod along and, and do what you want it to do. Now, every so often, and that's a little bit ambitious into there, but every so often this game throws up something that, I guess, well, you wouldn't call it a highlight, it's just something stupid. So. I'm way too hot into that corner, I'm getting carried away. I get that, it's my fault. So I reverse out, and you can see the sign rocking backwards and forwards, and I've not collected the sign, I'm away from the sign, I go around the corner, 
And then this happens. It just stops dead. Absolutely 100% dead. And there's another sign through the front bumper of the car, of the car, of the truck, and it's stuck. Like, absolutely, it will not go anywhere, just absolutely stuck. I'm burning 20 odd litres of fuel a minute just trying to get it off. So I attach the winch to the back of the trailer and I think, no problem, I'll drag it backwards and it'll free it. And it doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere. Press the winch button and nothing happens. Stuck. Hmm, how do I get it out of here? It's just absolutely jammed, it won't go forward, it won't go back. Right, attach the trailer, try and drag the truck sideways or forwards or out or in or whatever. Won't go forward, won't go backwards. And then the game decides to almost snap my truck in half. There you go. 156 suspension damage. And the sign is now out of the front of the bumper by whatever God decided it was coming out. So we're going to reverse well out the way of that and drive around it but it's obviously now stuck somehow in the the meshing of the road in the game um, we're going to be naughty and go to the right instead of the left thank you for pointing that out Mrs Motto but hey ho and we're away again but hmm not the first time that's happened either so yeah if I come across any more I'll make sure that I record them and we can have a giggle but there's the obligatory water splash everybody loves oh well I love the water splash anyway so and we're just killing the environment. The fumes coming out the top of that are absolutely ridiculous. And that's it. The last load is at the timber yard. Which, that took, all told, the best part of three hours. Um, mucking about, driving places, dragging stuff, just... It was just an absolute nightmare. But it's done. It's done. We get a decent payout, 22 half grand. We get promoted as well, ranked 23. And we're carrying on. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting, liking and subscribing. And fingers crossed I will see you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.